Hey, hey guys, my name is Heather and this is my channel, Mama in Motion, and I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds post hysterectomy, which I had back in 2021. So uh, I just want to kind of give a quick like recap of how my week went and uh, then I will go ahead and share my weight loss results for the week. So let's get started. So uh, this past week, I didn't do a lot of working out. I actually only went for a walk once this week. I don't know why I'm doing this so much. Sorry, I get kind of uh, distracted by my ponytail. Um, so <laughs> I went for a walk this week. Uh, we went, <laughs> I'm doing it again. We went to a store and uh, it was about a two mile walk. And um, other than that, I just maintained my calorie deficit. And uh, I did lose some weight, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, but the other thing that happened this week, which you may have noticed, is I have this lovely splint on my wrist. So I've been having um, problems with my hand for months and months and months now. And it uh, escalated uh, to where I was having a lot of throbbing in my wrist. And I went to the doctor. They did an x-ray. They don't know what's wrong. It could be carpal tunnel. It could be tendonitis. They just aren't sure. So they wanted to stabilize my wrist and my thumb, which are both causing me problems. Um, the pain also goes up to my elbow. It's in my palm. <laughs> and it goes to three out of four of my fingers. You know, not including my thumb. So that's what's been going on there. Um... I'm just now in the process to find out what is going on with my hand and I look forward to figuring out what's going on so I can hopefully get uh, like physical therapy or something to help make it so I can use my hand because most days I'm not even able to use my hand in a normal way and it's gotten so bad that I can barely write um, because of the pain in my thumb or my palm. So anyways, it's just been getting worse. Um, so it always feels like something is going on with my body, but I keep pressing on, right? So anyways. On to the weight loss results. Um, so it was actually last year, June 2nd, 2022, when I decided to um, start this weight loss journey that I'm on. And I lost about 26 pounds from June to like mid-December of 2022. And then I gained a little bit of the weight back and was kind of fluctuating up and down. And then um, I kind of like rededicated myself to my weight loss journey um, in May of this year, 2023. And uh, I weighed in at 229.4 pounds when I started again at the beginning of May and uh, I weighed in today Saturday um, June 3rd and I was at 219.7 pounds so I'm super excited that's almost 10 pounds in a month which is really excellent like if I could maintain this pace I could really reach my goals um, but anyways I'm just really excited because it's like what so I was too okay so last week I weighed in at 200 21.5 pounds. So I lost 1.8 pounds from last Saturday to today. Um, so that again puts me at 219.7 pounds, I believe is what the scale will show for today. Um, but when I started this weight loss journey last June, I was at 246.4 pounds. So that is uh, pretty much 27 pounds lost. So I'm like really stoked about that. Uh, it's been quite a year. A lot has happened since I started the journey, but I'm just really proud of myself for like always getting back up on the horse and continuing on. Um, I never, you know, regained all the weight back where I was back at 246 pounds um, since losing it, that weight that I had lost. So um, yeah. I'm really, really stoked that I've lost practically 10 pounds um, over the last month and I look forward to just continuing on this journey and trying to lose more weight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my before and after from last year, June, 20 uh, June 2nd, <clears throat> which will be right here compared to the newer picture from June 3rd, 2023. And you can just see the difference in how my stomach looks. Um, 
yeah, I've noticed that since I've started losing more weight that my shorts, my bike shorts that I've been wearing, uh, have really started to get, started getting a lot looser and, uh, they don't fit as tight as they did when I just got them right around Mother's Day. So I'm kind of bummed that they're already getting loose, but at the same time, I'm like, well, that's a good sign, right? So they were a large, so I guess my next size down would be a medium uh, because my stomach is the biggest part of my body. So I wear, you know, a 2XL in shirts, but I wear just a large in pants or like a size 14 in pants. So there's a big difference um, between my shirt size and my leg size. Uh, I just carry m the majority of my weight in my stomach. So I am very excited to see my stomach size going down. It has always been my biggest insecurity. Um, back before I had kids, I had people asking me if I was pregnant and congratulating me on being pregnant when I wasn't even pregnant or a mother or anything yet. And it was really embarrassing. And then, you know, I had my two children. I remember a few years ago, one of our neighborhood friends ran into us and she asked if I was having a third child. And I was like, no, I'm just fat. <laughs> you know, it's just something that has always occurred and it always really sucks and is embarrassing. So I am excited to be seeing the changes in my stomach and um, you can really see how the fat has lifted up um, and like more of my thighs and stuff show. Uh, my stomach just doesn't hang down quite as low as it did before. So that's one major difference. I really wanted to get some measurements so I could compare last year to this year. Uh, but I thought of it before, I mean, I thought of it too late. So I should have thought of it before my husband w went to work today because I'm not able to like really get the measuring tape and like, you know, measure different areas um, properly without my right thumb. This is my dominant hand. So it makes doing all that stuff very, very challenging. Um, I have to wear this for two weeks and then I don't know what's going to happen after that. Uh, so yeah, that is what's going on. I hope to get some measurements maybe, um, by the end of June so that I can compare from last year to this year, but you do have the pictures to look at to see the progress that I have made. And again, I'm very excited about it. And I really appreciate you for being on this journey with me. If you want to see more of my future progress, please like and subscribe and follow along this journey with me. And if you want to leave a comment of encouragement or something below, that's awesome too. I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Well, hello there. <laughs> All I see is Robin Williams as Mrs. Doubtfire in my mind. Ah, uh, that was a really... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> Testing mic one, two, three.